That does not make sense. Because the medicine gets flung over there. How, how do we... I mean, unless his fate changes again, but that said from the beginning. We've got to do the Rube Goldberg project anyway. We've got to make it so that we set up the medicine to be flung back onto his desk somehow, and we have to do the water, too. Because he's going to be too, like, frazzled to do anything okay. otherwise. Okay, okay. So that way we can get on the flag and keep the... Keep the water. But, wow. Okay, so I guess I'll keep being the medicine. So... How do you think we get the medicine back over there? The so, something in the way that he that, that it swings. Yeah. And I think it has to be that ball that rolls. It fell into the wrong sword. It needs to fall on that sword, so that way when you swing it, okay. it'll knock it back over there. And I think that uh, frame up there may be the answer. Okay. So what are you what are you thinking right now? Okay. Try undoing that part of the frame first. Okay. Uh, right. Arm. Okay. Undo this part of the frame. Now what? Uh, go over to the other side. Over to the other side? Okay. Yes. Lower, yeah. lower the arm. In there. I, w I wish I could... Because I, I don't want to lower the arm. This takes time. I know, I know, I know. Okay. Over here. Okay. Then up, up there, and then up to the to that globe there. Okay. Then knock it off and see what that does. Should I turn the globe and then knock down the frame, or knock down the frame first? Knock down the frame first. Frame first. Go. Just out of curiosity, just have to get this medicine to the minister. There are only a few seconds left. It isn't enough time. <laughs> Such a short sighted man. You should get glasses. <laughs> Happiness escapes us just as we are about to pull it in. We have to grab it while we can. Grab it by the silly strings. See, I, I say Ikidu because a lot of the themes in that movie are a lot of what he's saying here. Useless man, never lived his life. Yeah. Happiness is out of reach. We have to leave what we can. Bloody, 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 blah. What does it mean to live? To live. That's what the English name is. Ikiru. To live. Wow. So I was right about the water. Yeah, they even mention, you know, changes fate. Then how do we get over there? Maybe we need to wait and see what he does, if anything? Okay, we'll play by your rules, game. Yeah, because there's not nearly enough time. I wonder if there's another phone call that might show up? We, st we stood there, and I think he just dies, isn't he? No, he just chills. Alright, at the very last moment. Alright, dude. It's time to drink your water so we can change fate. And... Uh, there you go. Drink up. <gasps> no way! The fan? Spin harder! Spin harder? I can do that. I didn't spin harder, but, you know, maybe I can now. There we go. He's had some water. Fate has changed. Maybe that'll blow all the papers or something like that. Maybe. And that's how we get over there. It's far from recovered, unfortunately. Yeah, Wishy-washy man. Yes. All right. That makes sense, actually. Spin it. Do it. Spin harder! No freaking way. That's how we do it! Now oh I got enough time! Oh my god, I got plenty of time! Nice! Okay. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Sniper from outside the window! Yes, get him his meds. If the minister's gonna make a full recovery, I have to deliver this thing to him. All right. The same way you've been doing it for the past 10 chapters. Come on. Yeah, no kidding. Think of it. I have to use my head. All right. So I have a the, well, somewhat of a theory. Do you want to keep going with your idea? Because if you notice, there's a couple vases that fall over 
whenever we move, just like the rack up there, whenever we move the globe. See, I, I remember what's supposed to happen is that somehow that ball is supposed to land on the top of that sword, and when you turn the sword so it so it you know twists like that, it's supposed to like golf hit the medicine bottle back onto his desk. So we can't have the globe hit the other sword. It needs to hit that sword. It needs to hit that sword. How we do that is, well, that's going to be crazy. Hmm. Maybe we can knock off that thing up there and have the ball roll onto that basket there? Yeah, well, actually, what if we... Okay, I've, I've got something in my head. So, the case that the sword is in, that is a flat surface. Yes. We need to have it angled so that it goes over to the other side. Right. So I'm thinking those vases actually have something more to do than is let on, and we need to angle it so that it falls towards this side. We need a fulcrum on the right side, then. Right. And there are two vases, one on each side. So if we make the vase on the right side fall over, and then drop the globe onto the case, it should end up on this side. And then it'll be on the floor. You are correct. <laughs> uh, well, we've we've got time. Let's uh, go ahead and undo this at the very least, and then rocking that will knock it over. Turning this. Do we want to rock this? Hmm. Wait, will it knock? the fruit onto the sword? Maybe. Let's try it. Okay. Okay. I think we did that differently. Huh. That urn is a lot heavier than it looks. Made out of pretty thick iron. I'm gonna drop that on my foot, but I don't have... Yes, you do not have feet. <laughs> um, okay. I think let's go over and do some stuff here. We still have plenty of time. Uh, I'm not drawing a blank. I'm. I think I see what they want me to do. Oh! 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 oh, oh. Okay. Uh, go with me on this. <clears throat> All right. I've got to go. Drop that. Boom. And then, we are going to turn this... Wait a minute. It's a pretty light frame for its size. Sure, there's a lot of things that can fall down in this room. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fuck! <laughs> Including man. him, fallen man! Good lord, self-deprecation in this dude. Uh, okay. So, drop globe. This urn is pretty light. Once an urn is dropped, there's no getting it back. Okay. I now have another idea. What is your idea? Because we fucked up. Or, uh, I. I fucked up. Do you think we right. have to put the globe? All, right. all right, yeah. Go back to fate change. Go back to fate change. Hopefully, it'll keep me on the fan, or at least on the bottle. Okay, fair. I'm the fan. Okay. All right, Spin Hider, get in that document. In the document. Oh, this is a, a, a divorce proceeding. Excellent. You won't have to deal with your wife any longer. Where are we supposed to unload this cargo? Was it this place or this place? Well, I don't know which document. <laughs> that was too fast. You saved that, didn't you? No, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. Okay. I heard, I heard document and I thought of doc you meant. All right, how can I no, put that into a joke? Yeah, that's good. All right, what is your theory? All right, we now, so we now have infinite time to do this. We got to get that thing on that sword. The th this this thing up here, that up there. Yes. Okay. So, uh, raise the arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raise arm. 
I believe I can just rock it. Yeah, just rock it, make sure that, get, get that thing on the sword. Okay. Rocking it. Got it. Now, okay. uh, turn the sword. Turn the sword. Yes. Okay. Fuck. It's close. You have the right idea. If the swing just had a little more reach to it, I think it'd be better uh, look for uh, something else. Well, hmm. fuck, that ruined my whole plan. Okay. It's not even spinning the right way I want to go, either. No. Now nah, it just completely messed up everything. The whole idea shot down in a matter of seconds. <laughs> fuck. That's how it does it. All right. Thinking time. Do you have to get the globe to the left side? Or do you need to jettison it onto uh, the sword? All right, all right. Uh, try this. I got, I, I got another idea. What you got? Raise the arm. This arm? Yes. All right. Raising arm. Undo the frame hanger now. Okay. Don't don't do anything with that. Just undo the frame hanger. Beep. Now lower the arm and go to the other side. Alrighty. Do we need to drop the frame first? Do you think? No. Drop the vase first. Got it. It would be in an angle. And boop. so we need to turn this to knock down no wait we have to spin the globe don't we or do I spin this uh just spin it wait spin it makes sense because that would knock over the thing wrong fuck. way god fuck oh, no god. oh doing it again <laughs> no <laughs> help me Okay, now turn it. Gotcha. Turn the thing. Get turned. Turned up. Okay, turn. Turn it, then spin it, and then move it all around. And... Boom. All right, yes, this is the... Oh! No freaking way! I didn't know it would go to the middle! All right. So, we need to go back over to the other side. Because if we do if we do a little bit of this, and then we knock this over. Uh, ho hold on. Uh, I need to turn this, and then turn it. Just just turn it. Yeah. And then rock this. The rocket. Yep. Nope. Nope. Uh, you f mm. Damn it! Uh, Wait. So how do I? How on earth do I get the globe to fall? Well, let's go back. Damn it! No way. That's it. No way. Oh, good lord. That's it. Good all freaking right, lord. All right. okay. I didn't know you could interact with the globe after that. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Check it. Up here. Need to make sure to turn this. This shows how difficult it is to uh, prevent a heart attack. <laughs> Instead of, uh, you know, eating all those Honey Nut Cheerios, you need to set that up. What a useless man eating a useless cereal! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, you ready? Four! Four! Kathwaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
No, he's a fuffer. I will. Fuffer, Don't you dare. So how's this gonna play out now? No, oh, he's still depressed. Now I have no more medicine! <laughs> I'm here to kill you! Uh, no, no, please. Have you had your heart attack today? <laughs> My list says you're next! I'm the angel of death! Although, angel's just a... a, a commissary title. I'm the angle of death! 90 degrees, baby! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Actually, I'm 30 degrees because I'm a cute angle! <laughs> Don't laugh at that. Come on. Oh, it was. It made sense. It made sense in Lynn's context. She could be an obtuse detective. Comes in like, who are you? Somebody. What are you here for? Reasons. Something. <laughs> hmm. What's happening? There are things going on that you are not privy to yet. Oh, really? You think? There is something happening here that I cannot speak of. I'll tell you at another time. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, come on. And then if she's still in a cute angle, every time she ends a sentence, she ends it with ooh-woo. Maybe she could be uh, one of these types of angles. Hey, good job! That's great. You're doing a real fantastic job there. I'm so proud of you. You did great. Love what you're doing here. She's a complimentary angle. Oh, damn, that was good. Very good. Oh, I think the next chapter we have to save this girl. What a useless man. <laughs> Relying on the dead to save his daughter. Feh. Relying on the kindness of strangers like a pathetic parasite. Lynn! I'm in the sword of armor, help! I'm a sword. Uh, we might need to stop her from doing that. Send her a little signal. A, uh, sword. I figured we could, uh, you know... Come closer. Trick a speaking spell. Hey, Lynn. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> the E key isn't working, so it's over her. <laughs> over her. Wait. I just realized Sissel probably doesn't know how to read or write. Yeah, he can't even read the the uh, buttons anyway. So we're just you know waiting around, seeing if he's okay. We hear X G F R nine A C F R five Z Z Z Z T. Wait, are those the the rocket launch codes? What? The kidnapping. Sissel, is that you? S S S S S S S S S S S. Type out your full name. S S S S S S S Q. It is you! <laughs> yep. Boy, this uh, reboot of Full Metal Alchemist is weird. <laughs> yeah, tearing to him, not me. I'm just doing my ghostly duties. <laughs> Duty. <laughs> Like with the trumpet, duty. <laughs> Can you, uh, take me over to the phone? I got some work to do. <laughs> Actually, you know what? She just that. Oh. Pong, ow! <laughs> she just mentioned, oh, it's kind of funny that you don't have legs. And I just realized, we never see Cecil with, like, full torso. Oh, he's a ghost. It's, like, probably, like, you know... Like oh, it's just, time. like, wisps, yeah. No, no, we see him. We see him full torso. There well, I mean, that's a... That's a corpse, though. He's on the title screen! He's laying in the chair on the title screen! Hmm. We get every conceivable angle of Sissel, trust me. <laughs> do we do a cavity search later? <laughs> the true ghost trick. Trick the drugs in my anus, I didn't know I had. <laughs> oh, that's why he died, you know, he's trying to smuggle some things in. And the bag ripped. <laughs> <laughs> and it all just went, oh dear. <laughs> well, see, he didn't actually die, that was just him unconscious. 
Teehee, pay no attention to me about to bring a globe on a sword. Oh, is he going through another allegory of death or something? Oh, such a useless man. Can't God. even defend himself against a girl with a sword with no tip. Ooh, woo, I'm crazy. I cut the world! <laughs> she was How trying can... to pinpoint Jowd's execution spot. It's right here! How can you fight me when I've already killed the world? <laughs> I am the destroyer of this world! Hey, don't you remember me, useless man? <laughs> uh, yeah, another heart attack. There he goes. No, I can't be crazy. Oh, now the stroke's coming up. Not yet. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sorry about your luck. But your little shithead of a daughter who, you know, she seems nice, I guess. She has a cold right about now, but... Uh, we can save her. There he goes! Wait, no, 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 no! Uh, take your mask, take your mask, quick! I already took it all out! You, you emptied the bottle, I know you did. It's a good thing I got those 98,000 cups. <laughs> oh, oh, what's that? Count 10,000? Oh, yeah. All right, cool. What if each individual pill was, like, 10 milligrams? So he had to take, like, a hundred of them in order to get a good dose. This doctor's trying to get him off. It's just, it's just I've been working with this guy for 20 years. Should have died like, like 15 years ago. Mm, yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to prescribe these terrible meds, but he just keeps living. <laughs> if you keep pressing him, he's gonna die again. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do then? Let it happen. <laughs> Let him die. All right, I know where we gotta go. Okay, so here's what we do. We push him as hard as he can, he uh -huh. dies. I go back four minutes and we go, okay, got everything, we're good. Uh-huh, yeah. He told us everything we need to know and we could just let him just like, you know. <laughs> you should call an ambulance. Actually, call like three, you might need them all. Quick, I'm having a heart attack. Call me an ambulance. Okay, you're an ambulance. You're an ambulance. <laughs> It's my favorite Waldorf and Statler. <laughs> Her ambulance! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> but I can't, I'm a dream. I'm the real deal, pal. Oh, and I'm here too. He's a politician, no use talking to him. Oh yeah, he'll just give you a roundabout answer for what you're truly trying to get out of him. Maybe you imagined the heart attack. No heart attack. No, no heart attack happened on this night. No such thing had occurred. Not a single thing. So, want to go save his daughter? Uh, now? I mean, uh, no, 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 no. Not that. Not that. Not that. Lady Red's apartment. Oh. Uh, Let's see what hap. Wait. Hey. Okay. Oh, yep, it's working. Let's go see what happened on the other side. Of life. I mean, that's where she was supposed to be. Nope. Uh. A little girl. Flush. <laughs> Boy, how do you type a best selling romance novel with one hand? With wine in the other hand, baby! Hey, yeah. No, this requires two hands, can't you see? <laughs> All right, yeah. How did that happen? Yeah, we're not going anywhere here. Um... Is there something else we have to do? Well, uh, we, we got the, the number they were at, right? Down at the bottom? Oh, I didn't go down far enough. That one. I'm such a fucking idiot, I'm sorry. Anyway... You Off measly to tosser, that's what YMT means. <laughs> Off to the kidnapper's place. Young marine trout. Yeah, pay the kidnapper's hideout a visit. Yep, solve his problem and then we can solve Lynn's problem. T t okay, you know, it's not like a press for time or anything, but whatever, whatever. Dissolving in the morning, dissolving in the morning. Yeah, yeah you know, okay, you know, it's... it's it's almost midnight. Get going here. <laughs> I'm not panicking. You're panicking. 
Next time on Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Let's go ahead and save Amelie. And, you know, make it so the heart attack man doesn't have any more heart attacks. At least for another couple weeks. Uh, oh, yeah, he's we're, totally... We're buying this man hours of life. Hours. Hours. Well, Precious hours. Well, that's okay. We'll be dissolved in the morning. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, we're the one who needs hours. Hours.